Hi, and I'm David Harry, and I'm just going to show a very quick video on um, open elect running from a USB stick on an Intel NUC. Now, this particular NUC, as you can see on the box, is the DN2820FYKH. Now, what I'm going to do is actually double this up as a bit of a quick tutorial on people who, you know, for people who have never seen the inside of the NUC or how to construct it. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to live open it, insert the memory, put the USB stick in, and then wire it up and show it booting up. Um, now, this isn't a cheat or anything. Let me just get the box out of the way. It's not a cheat or nothing, but for the purposes of making this as quick as possible, the USB stick has already been pre-formatted and everything. So this system is already a working system. I've just took it to bits so I can show how easy it is to rebuild it back up. You can search YouTube and you can actually find uh, some really cool tutorials on how to install Open Elect onto a USB stick. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to literally take the screws out of the uh, out of the unit and then build it up. Now this process that I'm going to go through now, this is exactly how you would do it anyway from scratch straight out of a box. Obviously minus the, the you know the the the, the pre-installed USB stick. But for the best part, you know, this is exactly all you have to do if you're going to decide to build yourself a little open elect uh, nook system. And as you can see, it's really simple. It's just these four screws on the base. Now, I'm assuming I've got that right. There we go. So what happens is the base comes completely off like this. So just put that to one side. Let me just put these to one side as well. And then what happens here, a plate just pops out, as you can see. And what it is, this is where a hard drive would normally go. Now for the purposes, obviously, for this demonstration, we're not using a hard drive. We're actually just showing that you can actually just use a USB stick for this, so we don't have a hard drive in here. So what I'm gonna do is just turn that to one side. Now, if you just see inside the board there, this is actually the memory slot. So what I'm gonna do is just simply insert the memory into the slot. This is only a two gigabyte stick, by the way. Um, I would have got less, but you can't get less, and it will run on less. But two gigabyte stick is very cheap. And what we do, we just flip the lid back over, or sorry, the base plate for the hard drive. We put that back over like that. And then we simply just put the base back over the top, line up the screws, and then just tighten the screws back up. So this essentially is a you know this is building an open elect and as you can see it's really quick no time at all to do this it's not particularly technical or difficult i mean i'm not i'm not like mad technical myself or anything you know and this stuff's really easy to do as you can see so there we go so we've essentially got the nook all nicely screwed together so now there's our nook and what that is now that's just ready to go in and power up like i said it's not a cheat i've already got open elect on the stick because it'd be pretty pointless trying to show you all that as well during this so now what i'm going to do i'm literally just going to put open elect off the usb stick it's one of the it's one of the, the spare usbs on the back i'm going to plug in an ethernet cable you could also do this over wireless but me personally i like to use a hardwire wherever possible is um, an HDMI cable. I'm gonna just pop that in. And then, this is uh, the power cable. I'll pop that in. So there we go. That's now the NUC all ready to rock and roll. That can just go and get switched on. So there we go. I'll switch it on. Now that's booting up. Now I'm gonna reposition the camera quickly um, so we can catch that screen booting up. So just give me a moment while I refocus so we can try and get it all in shot. Right, so as you can see, this is now booting in. Let me just get a focus on that screen. So there's the Open Elect logo. Right, hold on, come out of this. There we go. So as you've seen there, that actually booted up amazingly fast. Now bear in mind, this is just off a USB stick, no hard drive or anything. It's a very basic NUC, and it's only got two gig of RAM. But in all honesty, this NUC is, actually overkill for this particular thing so it's really cool and um, right this is this is one of me as you can see on the screen of a, a more recent build and whatnot i'm not going to bother with that 
Now, <coughs> what I'm also gonna do very quickly, I'm just gonna put this iPad into shot. Now there's there's a number of uh, number of pretty cool apps that you can get for uh, remote controls for the Nook. So let me just get into here. Right, this is just one of the free apps. Let me just give me a moment. Let me just, I can't remember what it's called. It's uh, Cybu Cody, that's S-Y-B-U, Cybu Cody. That's actually a free one, and I found this to be brilliant. It's dead simple. You can't do all complex things with it, but you don't really need to. Now, here's the proof of the pudding. Let's see if it caught the machine. So, let me navigate, yay, okay. So let me say no to that. Now for copyright reasons, I'm not actually gonna show any streaming content because that's a bit naughty. But as you can see, there's all kinds of stuff installed on here. Sorry, I'm trying to look at the screen as well as use the remote at the same time here, so you just have to forgive me on that. So if I scroll along to videos, there we go. There's the Genesis install, salts and whatnot. And then, yeah. I mean, there really isn't that much else to say about it, except for the fact that that's now a fully working uh, open Alex system. Uh, the other thing is, as well, if, you, if you've if got a 4K television, this is actually being recorded in 4K as well. So, you know, if you need to see any more detail on what's gone on, then, yeah, you know, feel free to just bang it up to 4K and have a look at that. Oh, by the way, as well, this system uh, also will play 4K, I think. I don't have a 4K TV myself. But um, I was watching some 4K footage earlier on, and of course it, it, it actually just down reses it down to HD. But if it's doing 4K down to HD, the assumption from my part is that it should be doing 4K out of the straight output as well, as long as the HDMI will handle it. And if it does, it probably won't be doing 50p or 60p. So as long as you've got film rates like 20, uh, 23.967, 24, and your standard 25s and 29, it'll be fine. Anyway, yeah, so that's it. So hopefully that helps people. And uh, yeah, call back to our channel over the coming weeks. We've got more videos coming up to do with them, um, like small computers and various bits of tech and whatnot. Okie doke, so take care. Bye-bye.